Hey everybody, it's me, Mr. Right here with the Spell Sword Cards Origins Explanation Video, Part 3. We're going to be going into the paths. But first, if you haven't pressed that call button by now, go into the Discord and you haven't been a part of the Discord community, go ahead and do so, so that way you're involved in what's going to happen and you know firsthand by the developer himself being so involved with the community, um, you're going to know, hey, what's happening, or hey, I have a concern with said class, or said uh, card, or said, um, you know, AI fight. He listens, he applies what what people say, if, you know, it works and, and, and gets a consensus, and uh, there's no bad, there's never, a bad thing uh, to have your voice heard in a community. So with the paths, uh, with the paths, as you can, <laughs> as you can see, uh, path of darkness, path of ice, path of nature, path of fire, and path of light. Um, going from most favorite to least favorite. Uh, we're going to go with the path of darkness, um, harness the necrotic power of messing with the opponent's mind and pinnacle of success. So with that, uh, the path of darkness is for hand manipulation. It does involve a lot of this, a few cards that discard from your opponent from one card here or copying that card and adding it to the hand or, uh, discarding and copying it or discarding, um, you know three cards and because of the mechanic in the game that you can combine cards you have a severe uh, hand degradation in the waiting also with this particular path you get to gain a bit of health uh, you also have offensive spells you have just a little bit of everything with the path of darkness here uh, with, with early game offensive spells that can one shot or if you are lacking in mana, you have a few cards that, you know, you'll have to take a small HP hit to get that mana back. So it's a bit of a sacrifice to do. Um, there's some other cards in there that uh, because of certain conditions, let's say you have more HP than your opponent does. Uh, you'll get extra damage when you use this particular card. Um, there are other cards where... You get to stack your opponent's deck with uh, creatures, and when they come up, they can uh, cause damage or maybe have them discard or all kinds of, uh, you know, really awful mean stuff that, again, is uh, a control and, and a bit of offense there. Um, one, again, one of my favorites would not change anything about it. My second favorite is definitely the Path of Ice. Cold is a source of power on its own. Vast knowledge has accumulated within its depths. So with this, this is a more supportive uh, type of path. Uh, it is definitely more control um, with this. It has a bit of offense like most, if not all, uh, of the paths here. It has a few early spells that will help you just like, ah, get off me. Uh, it does affect, uh, some of these spells affect the action points that, uh, you know, help push the AI uh, from, you know, attacking you so much or guarding so much. And so it'll have to discard cards in order to get its action points that it was going to use on you. But, you know, uh, it also has a, a lot of con a control features that I personally enjoy which is the counter feature uh the counter cards uh you play the counter card and it stays on them until they play a card so it's like whatever they're going to play is instantly nullified and they can't do anything about it um there's one blue card it is a late game as in late level you have to be like nine or ten to get it um it costs like ten mana at the you know, from what I remember, it may cost more, may cost less. Uh, it's a hand switch card. So if you have played your played your hand, you have that one card less, and they have yet to go yet. You play that card, you gain all of their cards from what they have in their hand, and they don't get it back. 
So now you have a whole, you know, lot of, you know, room to, okay, this is what they've been having. So now they won't get it back. Um, let's see what else. There, there's a few other things about blue that, uh, you know, really, you know, catch my eye or I just kind of like push to the side uh, as do, you know, a lot of uh, the paths. So with the path of nature, the path of nature, you boost and buff your uh, your character. Um, uh, occasionally, you'll have poison. Uh, you'll be able to apply poison to your attacks, or um, if you're a druid or a ranger, then you know, your minions are going to benefit uh, the most. Um, there's other, you know, you get to gain mana in significant amounts, um, you know, ramping up in your mana, um, you know, so it, it's, it's worth the, uh, the looking into, um, and also it, let me see, I know that black, red, and green have what we call boomerang cards, Boomerang cards, uh, it's a, a boomerang is a term where, of course, you use it, you uh, trigger its effect, and it immediately comes back to your hand from your deck. So people try to, you know, use a uh, fuse <coughs> cards in their decks that I kind of have to have every turn. So it's like, okay, boom, 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 boom. But because of priority of certain cards, um, Excuse me, because the priority of certain cards that have exhaust, um, you won't get that boomerang effect because of the exhaust card takes priority first. At one time it wasn't like that, but <laughs> but now you know that was fixed. So there's that. Uh, but if you like boosting and ramping uh, and causing a bit of uh, uh, of, of annoyance for your opponents. Uh, you know, with the poisons that that green has, this one's for you. Path of Fire. I personally, uh, with this build here, uh, Monk, Dragonborn, and the Path of Fire, I've enjoyed it tremendously because for whatever reason, the AI figures I'm playing Fire, and Fire doesn't have uh, healing per se uh, but now that Monk is a thing and Monk has his own healing features I can now be as offensive as I feel like and be as aggressive as I want to so fire has a lot of uh, a lot of burn spells a lot of spells that stack on the burn so you don't necessarily have to worry about penetrating a, a physical shield um there's a few cards that ramp up your mana at the cost of your action points. Uh, there's a few cards that fetch out other fire cards or other red spell cards from your deck. Uh, so you're uh, constantly just like just burn, 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 burn uh, between um, the dragonborn, the elf, and the demon spawn. Uh, those are my go-to for this. This is, again, for the aggro players out there. Uh, and for any, it goes well with most any physical-based uh, class. And lastly, the Path of Light. It is the Stoic and Stern. Though these protectors of order and light bathe in power from their divine worship. Uh, synergizes well with the Priest. Um... I personally, as you can see, I don't really use it that often, um, mainly because I don't find myself having to be on the defense that often um, because I'm trying to win and I'm trying to win fast. Uh, sometimes I'm just like, you know what, I feel like, you know, toying around here. And so I'll, you know, choose something else. But it does have its place in this order here. Um, like I said, it does help a, a lot with healing, uh, puts your opponent at a bit of a disadvantage, uh, when it comes to messing with their deck with stacking uh, a few, 
of your minions in there. Um, it does boost you a bit, I believe, with some cards. Um, but it, it is mainly meant for defense. Um, it's de it, it does have a few offensive cards in there. Um, like, uh, again, all of these, uh, all paths have some type of minions that you can put inside the opponent's deck that causes damage. Uh, Fire has a few cards that actually aid in uh, small spells like here's a little bit of fire and here's an action point for you so you're like okay pumping out more attacks pumping out a few little burn spells here to get more action points and get you know just to keep furthering along your process here so hopefully uh that helped everybody with the you know the spells um portion i'm going to uh start making uh playthroughs with uh, i've been asked about my green elf ranger uh build and so i'll probably start with that and uh hopefully y'all are around for that comment like subscribe anything i would like to ask or even the build that you would like to see me play uh i won't <laughs> i won't start at the just to give you an idea of if i were to play with my ideal builds I'm at 300% difficulty. There is no winning. <laughs> There's no winning that. So comment, like, subscribe. Any questions, comment, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you ASAP.